glass of... <laughs> Bless you. We are gathered here today to celebrate your final day here at Phoenix Drop High! <laughs> I'm excited to get out of here. Jax, don't make us hold you back another year. I mean, yeah, future. <laughs> you are all leaving Phoenix Drop High today as stars. Stars that will shoot into the future and give hope to those who follow in your paths. Class of... <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! My Mihan is finally graduated! Ah! <laughs> Mom! Please, you're embarrassing me! You have no idea! Now you're 18 and older, and I never thought I'd see you graduate! Especially with your math scores! But, Mom! I'm just gonna... I'm gonna... Mom, stop it! I can't believe he graduated! I know, right? After all the trouble he got to in high school, I thought he was gonna get his diploma in jail! Mom, would you shut up? Maybe our babies will get together someday! <laughs> Me with that emo jerk face? At least I'm not a furry like you. I've been the female alpha for four years running, jerk! Oh, come on, Savannah, let's go freshen up. Your makeup is starting to run. Yours too. Hey, don't you dare call me or anyone else that in a derogatory way again. Can't handle the truth. I don't want to be talked to that way by someone as vile as you. My, my, aren't we feisty today? Besides, aren't you known for being dumb when it comes to werewolves? You're just a decent leader for them. Don't think anyone has forgiven you for the hell you put everyone through in junior and senior year. You're just lucky my Shadow Knights are busy with their parents. Otherwise, we'd teach you a lesson. You're just mad because the werewolves kicked the Shadow Knights' butt. F now! Oh, look. Called in reinforcements. No. He's my friend. Not like you would know what that is. Whatever. I have better things to do than waste my time here. We've graduated after all. I don't have to deal with losers like you guys. Hmph. <laughs> hmm. I'm glad he's gone. Daniel, are you sure you're gonna be okay? I'll be fine. I've learned a lot from everyone and I'm gonna use what I learned to do better next year. Daniel... Hey, it was my own fault I'm left behind. I should have studied harder. I'm just glad you chose a nice girl to replace you as Alpha. If you ever need advice, Daniel, don't be afraid to call me. Good, because that's why I came here. <laughs> Can I get your new number? I don't want to lose it again. Sure! Here, I'll send it to you over Twitter, okay? Even if you lose it, just message me there. I'll respond as soon as I can. Thank you, Aphmau. Good luck in the big wide world. I'll be right behind you. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel. <laughs> See you later. I'm gonna miss him. And everyone else I made friends with here. It's hard to believe I spent the last four years here. All the memories I have. All the people I've met. I'm going to miss this place. But at the same time, I'm free! <laughs> Feels good, doesn't it? Huh? Caitlin! Luca! You guys made it! <laughs> you dork! I said we were 
were in town. Of course we wouldn't miss your graduation ceremony. You even made it to the ceremony too? Of course. I uh, slept through some of it. Caitlin? <laughs> I mean, she was at least awake for when you walked on stage. I almost fell asleep during the whole thing too. <laughs> I knew it. But hey, at least you're done, right? Right! So, most importantly, are you coming to Falcon Claw Orientation Week? Yes! Are you packed? <laughs> no! Well, I mean, Orientation Week doesn't start for a few days. Might as well live it up. Right, especially since Caitlin and I are going back tomorrow. Right. So, Ab, what do you want to do now? Hmm. Well, I want to do something wild and crazy. So while I pack for college orientation week, I've ordered three different kinds of pizza, each one more cheesier than the last. On top of that, I've ordered additional spicy wings, have multiple cans of poopsie, the works. <laughs> I mean, this isn't what I had in mind, but hey, it's your graduation celebration. Are you kidding me? My mom would kill me if I ordered this much food normally. She'd be all, Miha, you're going to waste your food. Don't eat too much. You're going to get a tummy egg. Mm, let me get my chocolate. Hmm. I think we're going to need some napkins for this. Be right back. <laughs> Thank you. So you're going to pack and eat pizza? You are a crazy gal. <laughs> Watch me work, sweetie. I'm going to fold laundry and eat greasy pizza at the same time. You crazy. <laughs> ah. Here's my pineapple pizza. What? Ah! Ew! Have you ever tried it? <laughs> no. Then why are you ewing at it? It's fruit on pizza, Luca. My mom used to sneak veggies into my pizza to get me to eat them, and I don't trust anything different on my pizza. Okay, look. If you try it, I'll buy you coffee for a week. Ew! Okay, fine. I'll treat you to dessert when you're on campus. But... Only if you try it. <laughs> Woo! All right, fine, you're on. Hey, Mrs. F, you got some plates we can use for the pizza? I seriously cannot believe how she talked me into letting her order that much pizza. She is so lucky it's her graduation, or so help me, my chocolate would go right across her. Um, uh, plates? Oh, yes, sorry. Here. Thank you, ma'am. So, Caitlin, are you going to be showing Af around Falcon Claw University yourself? <laughs> nah, they have special mentors for orientation week. I'll see you around campus, but I'm gonna be busy working. Gotta help pay for college, you know? I hear that. So why didn't you have a big party for her? It's not nice to pry into those kind of things, you know? Are you cheap? Caitlin! Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'll have you know that I just didn't want her father catching wind of it and trying to show up in her life, finally. Whoa, that's deep. Very. By the way, Caitlin, when are you going to tell your dad about your cute girlfriend, huh? D you knew? Did Ab tell you? No, it's just all over your face. <laughs> Plus, I kind of had this feeling you were into both guys and gals. You know, you don't have to hide it. Eric is perfectly accepting, and so is everyone around you. Plus, it's perfectly normal, and... It's not that. Ugh. My dad is so protective of me that he goes after anybody I bother to like. Remember Jeffrey? <sighs> Luca has a soft heart. My dad could be scary, so... Ah, yes. Eric can get like that. I just want to go eat pizza now. Go on, go on. But, Caitlin? Yeah? Never call me cheap again. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Got the plates. <laughs> what happened? I hate a lot of pizza. She only had four slices. That's a lot. Yeah, your mom's totally gonna kill you after seeing this. Hey, I graduated and I'm off to college. I deserve this. 
Speaking of college, you excited to go for orientation week? Am I ever? I get to live on my own in my own dorm for a few days and see what things are like. And we'll be right there for advice if you need. But wait, our classes are still in session. Plus, we have work after class. Then we'll have coffee at night with her. We're gonna be on the other side of campus. Plus, what if I'm asleep? Oh, Caitlin, you're such a complainer. <laughs> the coffee will help keep you awake. Speaking of which, if we're not around, will you have anyone to hang with, Af? Hmm, I think Kawaii Chan might be going, but I'm not so sure. My friend Tara's going, though. Right, haven't met her. Though because of you, I know so much about her. <laughs> we were great friends in high school. Well, at least there's one person, you know. Hmm. What about that one guy from freshman year? The one who took you to prom? Huh? Remember the dude from high school? You and him were really close freshman and sophomore year? Ah, Aaron. We haven't really talked in person in like two years. Really? What happened? Well, I guess he got busy and just stopped calling me. Oh. Wow. I mean, does he know you're coming to visit? I don't know. I mean, I can't remember when we last spoke. It was online in text chat during our game, but I mean, I've been busy too, so I haven't played as much. Understandable. You had finals and graduation to worry about. Yep, but it's all right. We both moved on and I guess we're just living life. <laughs> Hey, come on. Let's help you pack and eat this pizza, yeah? We're leaving back to campus tomorrow and we want to make sure you're packed and ready for next week. <laughs> yeah, come on! And responsibility. <laughs> no. Uh, so, so there was a reason I asked you here today. <laughs> you know we're going to be late for our classes. Can we make this quick? Well, I, I mean, sh sure. But, um, Jenny, I, uh, I, I really, I really like you. Uh -huh. You're smart, you're cute, funny. I mean, I, I might not be your type. And I know you're one of the popular girls, but I was hoping that maybe... You've known me for two years, Mac, and please don't take this the wrong way. I really don't want to lose you as a friend, but you aren't my type, Mac. Uh, I can change. You shouldn't change for someone you aren't sure you want to be with forever. Now please, Mac, we need to get to our classes. I'll see you around. But, but... Ugh, darn it. Did Mac confess to you again? Yeah, it's getting annoying. Seriously wish he'd just take what I said and leave me alone. <sighs> Still thinking about Mac. Yeah. I mean, I feel bad, but at the same time, I've had to tell him over and over. If he keeps up, you might just want to end your friendship with him. Honestly, you're too nice to him by allowing him to disrespect your wishes to not be with him. Yeah, I might have to... Oh, Jenny, your hunk is here. Huh? Huh? <laughs> He's here! Watch out, Jenny. You're drooling. Shut up! Oh, let me guess. Jennifer is drooling over Aaron again, huh? You know it. <laughs> hey! Stop teasing! I don't get it, Jenny. What do you see in that guy? I mean, look at him. Can't you see how weird he is? 
Who in Irene's name would wear a freaking bandana over their eyes? Don't forget, he's a total social outcast. He rarely ever talks to anyone. Never goes to parties. Oh, and I heard he doesn't even have a cell phone. Really? Yeah. He was in my group project and said he didn't have one. Crazy, right? Not only that, he doesn't even have a roommate. I heard he failed the year, so he's one year behind. <sighs> All those things is what makes him so fascinating. Huh? huh? Something about him just... I don't know. He's mysterious, and is he alone by choice? Or is it for another reason? Oh boy, here we go. Not everyone has a sob story, Jenny. That guy is in college and he's weird. You're supposed to be past being antisocial by this age. Well, not everyone is like that. Maybe if he just had someone to talk to. Someone who took the time to know him. I just, I just want to get to know him. Maybe I can be his friend or closer. Jeez, you've had a crush on him for a year. Just a minute. Shut up! Afternoon, class. Settle down. We're going to talk about technological stuff. And that is why computers talk in binary. Now that I've gone over completely obvious subjects, I have an announcement to make. This summer, Falcon Claw University is going to be hosting various high school graduates who are promising potential FCU students here during multiple orientation weeks. That being said, this coming week's students from Phoenix Drop High will be attending. Since we have some graduates from that school in this class, I wanted to ask if anyone here might be interested in showing these students from that school around. It'll be tough work, but you'll get to know the students more and... I'm interested! I've never, never heard him speak. He talks after three My years. That was so weird. Oh, okay? well, that was no a way. Response. Ah, Aaron, I appreciate your enthusiasm. But this might be more of a job for more socially adept students. But I'm sure you could help supervise. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll volunteer! Jenny, what are you doing? You didn't even go to Phoenix Drop High. Shush! I'll volunteer! And if anyone wants to be my helper, well, they can come help whenever they want I won't judge even if they don't talk can she be any less obvious ah thank you Jenny any other volunteers no all right then Jennifer the job is yours Aaron I'm sure if you go speak to the council they might have a job for you with the new students just uh, not these ones thanks perfect Class dismissed. Huh, hey. Um, not sure if you remember my name, but we almost talked a few times and I, uh, I wanted to let you know that if you want to help me help the students, I'd love to have an assistant. Hey, babe, you got a little drool on your mouth there. Shut up! Sheesh! Well, I tried.
Mom, come on. You know I'll always be your baby girl. But you are going to leave me, and then I'll be lonely, and then I'll get a cat, and then I'll grow emotionally attached to the cat, and then one cat won't be enough. I'll have to get another one, and another one, and another one, and then I'll be a crazy cat lady, and no one will ever love me. Mom, I won't let that happen. And if it does, I mean, cats are nice and take care of themselves. But what if the cats want to go to college too? Mom, I love you. And I'll always be your baby girl. And I promise you won't become a crazy cat lady. And if you do, we'll make sure you're a hot crazy cat lady. Promise? Promise. We'll go to the salon and stuff. Oh, Mija. I'm sorry, it's just, I'm so proud of you and so many emotions. <laughs> Come on, let's get you inside. Oh, hello! Welcome! How are you guys doing today? Good! Mama's got the sad jitters, huh? Very much so. Trust me, those go away. My mom was sad for a week, then went partying with her girls the next. <laughs> she, she did? Maybe there are bricks after all. <laughs> oh, my name is Afmal. Afmal? Uh, yes, let me see. Yes, I remember seeing that name on the roster and thinking about how unique it was. Welcome! My name is Jennifer, but you can call me Jenny. I'll be your team leader for this orientation week. Here are your keys for your room, which is upstairs, number 201. Awesome! Please, unpack and make yourself at home. I hope you brought lots to decorate with because that's the best part of getting your own room. I'm so excited! If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at any time. Thank you. Come on, Mom. Okay, this is where we say goodbye. Mom, don't cry. I'm not, I... Hello? Ziana? <laughs> you just dropped off your kids? Hang out? Now? But I have Afma to take care of and... Wait, she's an adult now. I don't have to worry. I'm still going to miss you, Mia. Mom, go have fun. I'm doing this for the both of us. It's harder on you than it is on me. <laughs> She's going to be all right. Well, I guess I should get started on decorating. like home now. <laughs> Man, I really need some water or something. I wonder if they have a vending machine. She's here. She's real. 
really here. I haven't seen her in years, and she's right there. Should I talk to her? What do I do? Phew, this is hard work. You're telling me. I was hoping that... Huh? What's up? Uh, it, it's him. Oh, hey, yeah. What is he doing? Looking handsome. You don't even know what he looks like under that bandana. Besides, I think he's checking out that chick over there. Huh? No, no way. He's probably just scared of social interaction. Watch! Hey, Aaron! <laughs> <laughs> See? Whatever you say. Still, she's right. That isn't like Aaron. I wonder... Hey guys, Jess here. Just a quick announcement, there won't be a video out tomorrow, but the day after, episode 2 of this miniseries will continue. Thank you so much for your understanding, and I'll see you soon. Bye!